Let's take a look at the number of lone pairs for CH4. This is methane. So the first thing we need to do is have a Lewis structure. If you need help drawing the Lewis structure for methane here for CH4, there's a link in the description to help you do that. So when we look at methane, the Lewis structure for methane, these electrons between atoms right here, these are considered bonding pairs of electrons. This is the chemical bond between the carbon and the hydrogen. So all of the electrons here are involved in chemical bonds. That means we don't have any lone pairs for CH4. Let's take a look at this in three dimensions. So the purple, that'll be our central carbon. We had four hydrogen atoms, one, two, you see they spread out, three and four. So we end up with this tetrahedral molecular geometry for CH4, bond angle 109.5 degrees. If we had a lone pair, lone pairs occupy space. So they would actually push the other atoms down and give us a different molecular geometry. But since we don't, this is the tetrahedral molecular geometry for CH4. Back to our Lewis structure. So to recap, for CH4, based on the Lewis structure, all of the pairs of electrons are involved in chemical bonds. These are all bonding pairs. So CH4, methane, has zero lone pairs. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.